Welcome back to another video guys. In this video I want to cover how to use procedural uh, primitive creation to make a cube and we're going to put that cube into our game and uh, see how it works basically. But the good thing is that someone online has posted a wiki on the Unity wiki page that um, basically tells you how to do this. So he's created a plane and this plane is different from the previous video. He uses a different uh, method to do this but either way it works pretty well the box now this is what we're interested in he tells us how to make the box and it's very similar to that we did in the previous video of the plane but there's a few things we need to talk about uh, before we continue and uh, if you guys are interested he also makes a cone and a bunch of other stuff like a torus and a sphere a tube and things like that and um, these things contain some really nice mathematics really complicated things like trigonometry and things to work out the normals and the shape and stuff and that's really cool so if if you're interested in that guys you might want to look into that it's a bit out of the scope of this video all we're interested in is the cube if I can find it there we go the box all you need to do is go to this page wiki unity 3d and the page is called procedural primitives all we need to do is copy and paste this code here from the box code I'm just going to do that now so as you can see he's used a couple of um, methods we'll talk about them in a sec um, in the previous video we made a plane I'm going to say created cube this time created cube I've got a new script create uh, create box mesh I've got it open here and we just need to paste all the code into our start function I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit before we continue and a bit more if I can see the beginning okay so he's used add component here and he's added a mesh filter so all we need to do is change add component to get component and we're gonna remove game object so filter equals get component mesh filter okay everything should be working just fine now but before we talk about it I'm just going to run the game and see if it works because it might not let's just double check okay so it's working the cube is in the game but it's really small uh, before I continue I just want to make it bigger so we can actually see it's working so we ha we had the width and the height in the previous video he's also added the length I'm gonna make these 50 50 okay just double checking seeing if we can see the cube and the texture and things alright so here we go the cube is showing in the game and we can rotate and we can see each side of the cube alright that's pretty cool so how does this work? Well, like the previous video, we firstly need to make the vertices and we also need to make the triangles, but in this case he's done them at the bottom and then he's made the uh, the UVs and the normals as well. Okay, so we need us our uh, eight points this time because a cube has eight points, not not f um, four points like a plane. And uh, But the thing is, he hasn't used eight vertices, he's used a lot more, he's used 24 I think. 24 vertices instead of 8 vertices because a, a cube just has 8 points in it. Well the thing is it's to do with our normals because we want this cube to display in multiple directions and the thing is if we do it this way we need we can only display uh, we can only assign one direction to one vertice in this in this case so what he's done is he's made multiple vertices with the same point to make uh, each side of the cube I'm going to explain how he's done this here. So, um, so this is our cube. I'm just going to make a simple, uh, a simple cube shape. Okay. So, in the previous video, this was our plane. To make a 3D object, we then need to add depth to it. So we add depth to our cube. Okay. So that'll do. And that's our cube. So here's our first four points. Four points. So the fifth one can be here six seven and the eighth one kind of goes down here and joins along here somewhere so behind the cube so that's the eighth point that's all cool but um, why do we need 24 vertices instead of just eight vertices to make the cube well we could just use eight to make the cube I actually tested this out and it does work but the thing is we want each of the planes to show in various directions so let's just take this plane for example here we want it to show in the forward direction I'm just going to change color for a sec. How about a nice green? So we want this plane to face in the forward direction, so in this direction. Okay, guys, but what about this plane here, the one to the left? Well, we want this one to display in this direction here. And to do that, we need to make another vertice. So another four vertices here to make another kind of object and change the direction of the normals. 
Okay, so that's how that works. And for the top one, we want him to face upwards. So if we do this to every single side, we end up making 24 vertices. That's what he's done here. He's made four vertices for each side of the box. So the bottom left, front, back, right and top. And then he's simply assigned the normal direction to each of the vertices. He set them out really nicely actually in his array. And that's how that works. And similarly for the UVs, he's just uh, created the same UVs we made in the previous video for one plane. And he's just assigned those UVs for each of the planes in the box. Okay, or I should say faces, each of the faces in the box. So the same text should show on each side of the box. Okay, guys, and um, the triangles are pretty similar as well. He's just made a really nice way to work, work out the uh, which vertice it is because he knows his faces go in groups of four, so he's just timed this one by one, two, three, and four, and five. Okay, so I just want to talk about these methods here. The first one he uses is mesh clear, and this is just because he presumed that there might be vertices and stuff before he called all this code. So if we jump to the Unity documentation for a sec, I'm just going to show you. So this is the mesh class. This is the class we use to actually do our procedural primitives. And uh, the first one he's used is clear. And as you can see, clears all the vertex data and all the triangle indices. So it basically wipes off the mesh and we can start all over again. All right, guys, so just he just uses that just, just so there's nothing obstructing this code. And if we go right down, we can then see, well, he's used the calculate bounds. And all recalculate bounds does is recalculate the volume, the, the bounding volume, so the area surrounding the mesh. That's explained here. And uh, also the optimize method. So Unity wants you to call this method every time you make a new mesh. Um, if I can find it, there it is. So this operation might take a while. I don't know how long it takes. But uh, it makes the geometry display faster. So if you create a mess from scratch procedurally, like we're doing here, you might want to do this to trade better runtime performance against a higher load time. So if you're not worried about the, about the load time, then go ahead and call this optimize if you like. And uh, that's all I wanted to touch on really guys in this video. As you can see there's a lot more things we can mess around with. You can get the triangles if you wanted to change them for some reason. Um, and we can even combine multiple meshes. That's really cool if we wanted to do that. So it's quite flexible and the cases you might want to use these are quite scarce. Um, you know, you don't want to use this too often in your game because it does take a lot of overhead and we can easily perform these operations in Maya if you want to create a decent object in a very short amount of time. Okay, so in the next video we're going to use this knowledge and create our mesh based on our drag. Alright guys, so thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video.